here's a huge outcropping of quartz a little different than i've seen before it uh it's right on top of a berm here look at that that is amazing and there's a whole bunch of it right along this ridge so you know what the quartz hunter is going to do i'm going to be looking a little closer at this can you hear him can you hear him are those two rocks out He's not in here, is he? No. Wait a minute. He ain't happy. Oh, no. We got to be close to him. Be careful, Hoagie. You can toss a rock over there. That bush is that. Oh, I see him. I see him. I hit the base of that bush. He's looking at me, and he ain't happy. He went off. There he is. Oh, he can't go that fast to catch you. See him? He's coiled up right there. Oh, boy. He's a pretty one. See him right there? Oh, I wasn't even near him. <laughs> See his tail moving? So, that... that... Oh, I heard something. And right there, folks, there she is. That's not bad, a little chunker. I'll take it. It's been a while, I've been on a dry spell. Yeah. We'll take it. Maybe a half gram. You can see this wash goes this way. Hits right about here and then makes a turn and goes that way. Okay. So it's kind of on the outside of the turn down low right here in the flat where I found that little piece. My guess is maybe three or four tenths of a gram. Uh, right down low. So it obviously, it could have been washing in here and then made the turn and then it wiggles around again down there. I'm gonna go work this area up high just in case it's working. Well, we're well. back here at the house a couple of days after uh, going over there to Gold Basin. Worked a new area, a little bit closer to the house. And it's uh, a couple football fields away from where I found three good sized pieces, each one over a gram gram and a half um, this is an area I've been wanting to hit so we uh, researched it on the Google Earth and everything else mine cash made sure it was legal unclaimed and um, drove out there with Hoagie a member of our local club here we call him now the snake whisperer since he found the first and the only rattlesnake I've ever seen out there before Looked like a Mojave green and it was not happy. We'll throw that on the video here. But anyway, uh, I cleaned up. I got one little piece. Uh, the other guys didn't find anything but some bullets and that. So, uh, But it looks very good and promising. We'll go back out there again and hit it. But I did get lucky and found one down near the bottom of a wash. And uh, we'll take a look at it here and uh, weigh it up. This piece here is one of the pieces... Um, that I originally found about a year ago. And there were three of these within about a 50 foot circle. And I use this as my test nugget. So once I get my detector all set up and running, I'll throw this down in a little glass vial and run it over it just to get my ears right. Maybe lay a rock on top of it as well uh, so I can listen to a little bit fainter sound. But that's about 1.1 gram on that one. Here's a little fellow we just got the other day. Thought it was a piece of metal. Boy, it, it cleaned up nicely in the CLR and the vinegar. But uh, when we, uh, when I pulled that out, I could have swore it was just a tack. Uh, I took it to the super magnet, didn't stick, and I knew I had something. So uh, we'll throw that little bow tie shaped fella right on here. <laughs>
three grams so uh, I'll take it it's worth the drive out there gold's gold that's a pretty little nugget and uh, that's only a couple hours of sweeping so uh, there's more out there we're gonna go out there and find it thanks for tuning in <laughs>